Here we go, baby. Here we go. We're going after this fish, y'all. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man, she's big. She is big. Whoa. So you got to be fully ready to get all this line back as he's chasing the fish. Right. Chris, your job is to turn this chair. If the fish moves, then you've got to make sure the chair is facing the direction. So if the fish runs that way, make sure he understand what I'm saying. How much line did it take out? A lot. A lot of line. A lot of line. Do what now? Yeah, let it go. Let it let it run, and then get it when you can. So we've only been trolling for about 10, 15 minutes, and we got a big marlin on right now, and it has made some runs like I've not ever seen already. So this is incredibly exciting. So we are so stoked getting the starter early. Captain just put us right on, right on the fish. So we've been chasing it down now for a few minutes and uh, flooding the boat, which is fun. I mean, the whole thing is just the action's great in this type of moment right now. This marlin fishing, bill fishing in general, it's just different, man. It's really, there's an addictive component to it. It's super cool. And we're really learning how to do it. And, uh, you know, Captain Ron, a professor there, he's just starting to, you can, he's really finding his element with it. Trent, Trent had a, um, let the line back. We saw the marlin come through the spread. Trent put it back there perfectly on it. It's wild. Here we go, baby. Here we go. We're going after this fish, y'all. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man, she's big. She is big. Whoa. 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 This is crazy. That is Woo That's wild, man. That's wild. That was one of the best runs I've seen. Awesome. We got a fish. We got a big one, boys. Come on. That's a straight up marlin, a big one. It's a big one. Woo! Man, I can't wait to see this fish, boy. This one ain't no joke, Cap. <laughs> I started to like this marlin stuff. <laughs> we got a stalemate. Trent, this is definitely a blue one, right? She's going to have to come up, Josh. You keep doing it, bub. You're doing exactly what you need to be doing. All right, so we're about 25 minutes into the fight, and uh, Josh here is doing a great job with the rod and reel, and just uh, you know, it's a just a battle of uh, attrition at this point in terms of trying to wear it down, right? And uh, this is the first time I've been on a really long marlin fight, but by the looks of that thing when it came out of the water, I mean it's four or five hundred pounds i don't know i mean I, I i just know it's much bigger than anything i've ever seen so like at least in person so this could go for a while and it's just a uh, tug of war tug of war tug of war hands st starting to lock in place there josh 
Oh, I just want to see this fish. Got him on top now. There you go. Yes, sir. <laughs> you are literally chasing on top of the water. Wow. That is so cool. That is so cool. So that was pretty crazy. Uh, professor thinks it was about 500 pounds. Uh, fought it for over an hour it ended up being. And uh, Trent was able to touch the leader, which qualifies as a captured fish. And uh, so, you know, beautiful battle, super cool. I've never seen one so big. And uh, certainly uh, Josh did a great job fighting it. I mean, that's a long, long fight. So all in all, it's a great start today, but hey, I mean, it's just the beginning. We'd love to see some more. We'd love to, we'd love to get some, you know, right at the boat even. That was, the problem with that is we caught it on a 30 pound class uh, rod and reel, and it, it's just not enough oomph, enough horsepower for a fish that big. And so, uh, we got pretty lucky getting that fish. We really did. So we're pretty excited about it. Give him a chair, Chris. Here we go. Right, he's going to stop and chase in a second. He's going to stop and chase. We just hooked up. Looks like a sailfish. Woo! We got another one that is in our spread it looks like uh so trent was trying to snag it but i don't know if we were able to get that one so we're going to chase this uh what looks like a sail you think it's a sail trent yeah yeah here we go back on the meat at the speechless that's the way to get it get it get it chris yeah Nice. We're going to get a photo with this, I think, Chris. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Kapow. Beautiful. This is why it's called a sailfish. Absolutely beautiful. Trent and the professor have been killing it today, so we're gonna release it. It's already been a great day here in the OBX. Ready going on? Nice. 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 Good work, everybody. <laughs> that was cool, man. That was cool. All right, two for two.
All right, Professor, so uh, September fishing in the OBX, we're having some fun, man. It's crazy. It's cool. This, uh, you know, we've we've caught our billfish later in the day. Today, we went like 15 minutes and just yeah. hooked right up. I what mean, did you see from your perspective in the tower? Well, we didn't even have, really, we still hadn't put our shotgun out yet. Yeah. Trent had a couple issues getting set out and everything, and a lot going on back there with the dredge and all that. And um, all of a sudden, just a blue one came across the spread there. And uh, he ate the wrong bait on a dink pole, but it was a good blue one, about 500 pounds. And uh, the angler did great on it. Yeah. Yeah. They put on a nice show for us. Um, so this, the rod, you you talked about, you, you said a couple of times, man, he took the he took the wrong bait, yeah. right? Yeah. So if you have, that was a 30, uh, a 30 pound class That's right. rod and reel that we were using with that, which made everything, I guess, slower or just we had to finesse it in, is that's that right. right? That's right, yeah. So in a perfect world, that's a 50 or 70 that we're, that we're catching yeah, that Yeah, or way. an 80, really, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sometimes you try to pitch a 130 to them, you know, when you're trying yeah. to catch granders and stuff right. like that. But right. we could have got a lot faster and a lot easier on a 50 or a 70. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. All right, well, that's cool. And then we, so we had that great experience. That was cool. Biggest, certainly, um, biggest marlin that I've seen. Yeah, and he wanted to sound. I mean, he got down, yeah. and uh, he just didn't want to come up. And I did something cool there, and I don't know if we got any footage of it or not, but kept on just swimming into the current, swimming into the current. There's blue fins we catch do a lot, yeah. do that a lot. And uh, so I went around him and took the pressure off of him, got on the upcurrent side of him, and he felt like he was free for a minute, even though he still had pressure and on him. And that brought him up. He came up, and we were able to gain a lot of line. And uh, the first time I did that, we almost got a hold of the leader, but he took off and sounded again. And I did it uh, two more times, and on the third attempt, we finally got a hold of the leader right. and made it an official catch. That's right. And for those that uh, aren't as familiar with bill fishing, explain just really quick how the whole official catch works. Yeah. Well, the IGFA rules: you got a 30-foot leader, and if you uh, touch that leader, uh, it's considered an official catch. And uh, so we did touch that leader. Yeah. So we touched the leader. We released it and uh then we trolled for probably another 90 minutes or so didn't have anything yeah and then we had two sales go two, through the spread that's right come right up on the teaser uh the left teaser there and then uh, one of them peeled off and hit the flat line and then i saw another one come off on the right flat line and uh we were only able to hook one of them and uh, that was cool that, that fish put on a good show too it did put it put on a great show and chris who was the angler for that yeah. he had the goal to catch a sail today he got to hold it. We had a nice, uh, clean release for it. Oh, so yeah. all in all, the fleet, I, I think you heard that there was, you know, maybe uh, 14, 15 billfish caught today. Looks like we got a couple of them. So overall, yeah. we feel like we did, we did, we did we held our good. own today. Yep. I mean, overall it was slow, you know, not a lot of action packed day, but our, uh, you know, the quality of fish that we had made up for it. Yeah. So. That blue marlin this morning, that was a nice one. That was a quality experience. Yeah. One, one that I've never had and, and certainly one that we hope you have with us. That's us right there, slip number 92 here at Pirates Cove Marina in Manio, North Carolina. Having a great time. Make sure you come join us and we fish year round. This guy right here could be blue fin fishing late, late in the year, like December, January, February time period. So we're gonna be doing some charters during that time as well. And so if you're looking for something, reach out, let us know, speechlesssportfishing.com. And until the next time, everyone, stay salty.